when are union reps available to be reached? Okay, now this is something I need to go ahead and discuss because I have a problem with this. A union rep technically sets their own hours. Mm -hmm. Unless there's an emergency, something's going on, management needs you for a removal, an immediate eye, eye, anything of that nature. Do not tell your supervisor you need to speak to a shop steward and think I'm going to come or think that person's going to come ASAP. We are still on the clock and we still work. So I'm not going to stop, drop, and roll in my operation because you want to speak to a shop steward because... I have the tiger man itch. And now you got to get it back. And the way to get it back is to go back to the beginning. You know what I mean? This is J.H. with Miss K. How are you today? I'm good. Good, good, good. I'm going to hit you with some hard questions. I'm going to kind of rattle them off. Please don't be filtered. I don't think I needed to ask you that. Mm -mm. How can an employee find out about their place on a seniority list? Okay. Now, depending on where in your facility where they have it, usually it's in the main hall or whatever where they have the, you know, the clerk. Mm -hmm. information, the mail handle information, and it's usually on the wall. They're supposed to update it every six months. Okay. Um, you'll have your regular list, and then you'll have your MHA list. This okay. is for my mail handlers. If you're a carrier, or I don't know how that works, but if you're a clerk, you'll have your PSC list, and then you'll have your regular list. And then, but a lot of times they don't update it properly, so you have to do your own calculations. I know where I am. They don't never update it. So I can't find the list. I'm working at my place. Ask for it. They keep trying to duck me. They tell no. me they don't know nothing. They they know. Ask Does them. a union rep know where my list is? A union rep can get it. If there's if it's not posted on the wall, mm -hmm. go to your your union office because we are supposed to have a copy of it. And okay. In my office, we have a copy of both the mail handler roster MHA, I'm sorry, and then the mail handler roster by okay. seniority. The person that can tell me where my spot is on the seniority list is my union representative. Yes, if it's not me. posted. If they the can't wall. tell me today, will they be able to give me an answer in a day? Yes, they should be able to. It should already be in the office, though. It should already be a copy. Hmm. When are union reps available to be reached? Okay, now this is something I need to go ahead and discuss because I have a problem with this. A union rep technically sets their own hours. Unless there's an emergency, something's going on, management needs you for a removal, an immediate eye, eye, anything of that nature. Do not tell your supervisor you need to speak to a shop steward and think I'm going to come or think that person's going to come ASAP. We are still on the clock and we still work. So I'm not going to stop, drop, and roll in my operation because you want to speak to a shop steward because... Becky side eye you. Okay. That's not what I'm here for. What you're supposed to do is let your supervisor know you need to speak to a shop steward. That supervisor thus in turn finds one of us and say, hey, she wants to speak to a shop steward. Okay. At that point in time, the way I do it is I will let them know when I'm available because we still have to work. Okay. We just can't come on and off the floor at whim. Now, if there's an emergency, if some shit is really going on, and it's about to turn bad, then yes, I will I will deal with that. <laughs> okay. I don't really care for Miss K. Mm. What does an employee do if they're not happy with their rep, but they need some guidance? I mean, you can go to another shop steward, but that shop steward who you don't like is probably still going to work on your grievance. I don't give a fuck if you like me or not. I could care less. Mm. I, I, they don't pay me enough for me to give a fuck if you like me or not. <laughs> so I'm either gonna represent you or someone else in the office is. And nine times out of 10, that person is gonna shoot that shit back or we actually sit there, collaborate and work on your grievance together as a whole. Mm -hmm. So the person that you don't like is still working on your shit. 
And the person you probably don't like is probably the person who's going to get your grievance resolved. So. I don't really want to deal with Miss K because I think Miss K is in bed with management. Is that even a thing? Once again, if you feel that the shop steward that may have your grievance panders to management and you don't like the way they move, then you can say politely, hey, I would like somebody else to handle my grievance. Okay. Now, if you're real vocal and don't give a fuck, you can say, hey, I don't fucking like the fact that you always kiss the management's ass and I don't want you working on my fucking grievance. And at that point in time, that person in the office is probably going to give it off to somebody else. Probably because they're going to be in their feelings that you said that. Suppose people are working at stations. I don't know how this works. So they would have the APWU mm -hmm. or the carriers union if they're at a station. Mm -hmm. they, they have, have one rep. Yeah. So what happens then? I don't know. Because you have one, you have one rep. Unless what you might want to do is call, you know, maybe the local mm -hmm. office and maybe voice your concern, and hopefully they can give you somebody else. In most cases, they probably fucking won't. They're gonna just give you that one rep that's at that station. I'd like for you to do some homework for me because mm -hmm. eventually, uh, I'd like to have you on Zoom, mm -hmm. and that way, when my people ask, I'd like for you to address that because a lot of my people are in different crafts. Mm -hmm. And if they can't reach somebody or they don't have a union rep at their specific mm -hmm. station or they know that that individual at their station is in bed with management, it's kind of a conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. You know, you top tier T7 uh, clerk and then you <clears throat> right there with management kind of setting the schedules mm -hmm. I put in for some time off and it got to go through you just an employee. Mm hmm which is a T7 and you're the shop steward and you look at it and then tell management, no, because I think I'm going to have off that day. That happens but all see, the time. see, that should not <clears throat> be happening. That should not be happening at all. Mm -hmm. If you are an employee and you are a shop steward, why the fuck are you working on the schedule? That mm -hmm. is not your job. Yeah, but they're not working on it, but they got, they're in bed with management, like I just said. Okay. So they're just like, yeah, no, don't give her off or don't hit him off. And that shouldn't be going down. But then how can you how be. can you prove that that's going on? Especially when you're in the station, it's one rep. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's different when you're in a plant, in a bigger location or a bigger station. So what then, do they do? You know, I I don't know. That would be your home. I will find you. that out. I appreciate that. Employee in bed with management and something goes wrong. Can you help? In bed how? Physically in bed? <laughs> are they physically in bed with yeah. you? Really? Yeah. And go wrong how? Anything. You you see it firsthand. You Honest, see it firsthand. Honestly, real talk, you just let that shit play out all over the floor. What can you do? So you got such and such, the girl, mm -hmm. they got an issue with the, the MDO mm -hmm. because he broke up with her. Mm -hmm. And now he's on to the next one. Mm hmm and then he changes her schedule mm -hmm. or he does something in mm -hmm. retaliation or whatever it is. And everybody knows what's going on. Correct. Is that a scenario that you can step in and no. help with? No, it's what? not. Mm -hmm. That's a fucking personal problem. Okay. But you, it's you understood when you came in the door, as with any job, you decided to fuck management. What do you thought was going to happen if it went bad? And in the post office, it always goes bad, especially when it's between an employee and management, mm -hmm. always. And when it goes bad, especially in the post office, it's all over the floor. It's like lava, it's everywhere, it just flows. Everybody know what time it is. Everybody know what's going on. How can you even say with a straight fucking face, he changed my schedule, but he changed your schedule before when you were sucking his dick. And you had no problem with that when you were getting your days off. And now that what you're you mean no, by that? What do you mean, what do you mean by that? Yeah, what do you mean by that? There are supervisors who are giving days off because someone's giving favors. Oh. Yes. It happens. But then what do you what do you want when the shit go bad? It's like with any relationship. If it goes bad, it goes bad. Either you suck it up and put your big girl panties on or your big boy panties on because, you know, <laughs> dude's doing shit too. And you go on about your business or you're going to sit here and whine about it. Because when you were getting this preferential treatment, you had no problem with that. When you walk around like your shit don't stink. Mm. But now the shit is over with and this motherfucker eyeing another 
victim. You in your feelings. No. And then you want to come to the union like, we can help you. I didn't tell you to fuck them. So there's nothing that you can do. There's nothing we can do. Now, if it turns... Violent? Violent or, you know, predatory. There's some, maybe some stalking involved. Or mm -hmm. they just doing some type of just downright harassment. Then, yes, come to the union. Suppose something happens and they're on the street. Mm. They're, they're dating. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right? They're dating and they're inside there. Mm -hmm. or they got kids. Something happens in the street. Mm -hmm. Somebody has to get a schedule change. Mm -hmm. Because they're in the same facility. How does that work? Okay, so we did have... Because you got you to protect somebody. Yeah, we did have something like that happen. I'm just going to I know that, so that's why I'm asking. <laughs> we had a couple of something like that that happened. Mm -hmm. um, it depends on the, the supervisor and the MDO. In some cases, they probably be like, fuck that, I'm not giving you a schedule change. It happened in the street. Mm -hmm. It did not happen in the post office. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Suppose and especially if you're ready. there's an order of protection. Now, if it's an order of protection then they have to recognize that. Okay. They can do a change of schedule, maybe put you on a different tour for you know a period of time. Hopefully you can bid off if you're a regular. Mm -hmm. If you're not a regular, then you just get a change of schedule a couple of months until maybe the, the order is lifted or whatever happens, maybe that person has to do some court order stuff or whatever. But if it's just regular, and that person just calling you a bitch out in the street, riding up on you and making phone calls, nah, bruh. Nah, there's nothing we can do for you because that you decided to have a relationship and then you seem crazy. So there's nothing at this point that the post office can address if it happens outside of the post office. I'm at work. I'm a carrier. Mm -hmm. I go into a neighborhood and something happens. Management knows that the mail has to touch every single home. Mm-hmm. It has been brought to their attention that this is a dangerous neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I'm on the street in that neighborhood and I get assaulted and beat up mm. and I end up in the hospital. What, what happens? Well, I'm not too fluent on carriers' rights and responsibilities, but I would assume, first of all, you went to management and let them know that this area... Everybody did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Second of all, they should have sent out someone post inspector right or maybe a supervisor to ride do a ride along or tag you to see what's going on in that neighborhood mm -hmm. to see what's happening if they did not do that mm, that's negligence now if you went into that neighborhood and you've already done all these things and nothing was done they didn't send anybody out mm -hmm. they didn't whatever and that happened to you real talk get you a lawyer file your police report do what you got to do don't fuck with the post office no more. You've already given them the information that you need to give them. At a certain point, employees got to stop thinking that the post office gives a fuck about what's going on with you. And at certain points, you got to start taking responsibility for yourself and say, fuck this shit. I'm going to take care of me. Because the one thing the post office does not like more than anything else in the world is a motherfucking lawsuit. You say the word lawyer, shit get done real quick. So if you need to go that route, then go that route. As soon as this video is over, <laughs> I'll actually show you what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. But I appreciate your time. You think that you'd be available for any of my people, for any of your people, I mean, your bro brother, uh, postal brothers and sisters to, to chat with one day. You have a computer. Uh, we, can, we can do a Zoom meeting mm -hmm. and, and possibly, you know, get a couple of questions answered that I may not have touched on. Sure. Not a problem. You sure? Yeah. I truly appreciate your time. And thank you once again, Miss Kim. You're welcome. It was a pleasure. And I appreciate you being a little more censored. This is J.H. Hopefully that was some information for somebody. I'm sure it was. We out.